we're back with another episode of Black Metal Promo. In today's video, we discuss the top 12 depressive black metal bands, before starting this video. If you love black metal, give a thumbs up to the videos, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon for new videos. Now let's get started. Number 12 Cold World <laughs> GB formed Cold World in Erfurt, Thuringia, Germany in 2005. Cold World's first demo, The Stars Are Dead Now, was released via Ancient Dreams Prod. And limited to 100 copies. Melancholy Superscript 2, Cold World's debut album, was released in April 2008 via Cold Dimensions. Cold World combines atmospheric black metal with influences from ambient and electronic music. The center stage takes the music with its sweeping melodies and icy atmosphere. Cold World's music forces fine-tuned listening, and allow the listener to submerge his herself within a very special world. Cold World leaves behind conventional black metal and brings forth new possibilities when it comes to songwriting and interpretation. Number 11 Total Self-Hatred Total Self-Hatred is a Finnish depressive black metal band, formed in Helsinki, Finland in 2005. The band was found to create truly melancholic and desperate soundscapes, to unravel the blackened thoughts, the blessing, and the curse of the inability, to think either black or white or in between. To narrate about the ability to, find clarity in madness positivity in the negativity shelter in the dark. To point it out clear. The band is dedicated to the searching, not to the self-pity. Total self-hatred is a symbol of resurrection through pain. A pool for the frustrated, for the disparate in life, for those living and bleeding towards a higher truth. To crush the circles of self-inflicted suffering. For I am my worst enemy. Number 10 Psychonet 4 <laughs> Psychonet 4 is a Georgian depressive black metal band from Tbilisi, Georgia, formed in July 2010 by Graf, Vocals, and Andre, Bass. The lyrics are written by Graf and are about drugs, sex, drinking, depression, lies and suicide. Psychonet 4 started with a demo tape titled 40%, released by Depressive Illusions Records in 2011. In June 2012, the band released Tired Numb Still Alive, a three-way split album with Unjoy and Eurythmy, released by Der Wake Productions. Their first full-length, Have a Nice Trip was released in August 2012 on cassette by Depressive Illusions Records, CD version co-released by Der Wake Productions, and Solitude and Despair Music in November 2012. In December 2012 the band decided to split up. In the spring of 2013 Andre rejoined the band. In January 2014 a split with Happy Days and Doddsford was released, and later this year the second full-length Dipsomania was released. Number 9 Apathy Apathy was a depressive black metal, depressive rock band formed in Vosteros, Sweden in the fall of 2007. By C9H13N and Obhag. In February of 2008 Professor X, called Mr. X back then, joined the band. Patient C joined later the same year. Their first album, Euphory, was released in June 2009 on Total Holocaust Records. Professor X got kicked out from the band in November 2008, although he contributed a bit on Euphory, vocals on the song Alt Jag Aldrig Haft. Their second album, 
Morgan Dagan installed Ibrist Pa Intrse, was released in May 2010, again on Total Holocaust Records. Patient C left Apathy after joining the band Shining, and Professor X came back, but this time with the name X, Obhag also left Apathy July 2, 2011, and died three weeks later from an overdose. The remaining two members, C9H13N and X, decided to disband Apathy. Number 8 Life Lover Life Lover was a Swedish band from Stockholm formed on June 1, 2005 by Jonas B. Bergqvist and Kim Carlson. The band split up on September 16, 2011 after the death of Bergqvist, granted that he was the lead composer and one of Life Lover's founding members. While widely considered being metal, Life Lover combined several genres into their sound, citing black metal, post-punk, alternative rock and dark ambient with depressive lyrics, the band are credited for being one of the most influential depressive black metal bands of all time. In June, 2005 a demo titled Promo 2005 was recorded but was never officially released. The recording of their debut, Pulver, began in April, 2006. LR and 1853 were recruited to the band and the album was finished in May, 2006, and later released by GoToWareX, in July of that same year. Number 7 Leviathan Leviathan is the depressive black metal project of American artist Chief Whitehead, aka Rest. He began the project in 1998. Rest's real name is Chief Whitehead, and outside music he is a famous tattoo artist and visual artist, and works with Heil Dolph, aka Tim Lehi, who is dragger, at Black Heart Tattoo. In January 2011, Rest, was arrested on charges of domestic violence and sexual assault against his ex-girlfriend. Rest maintained his innocence and took the case to trial, in which all charges except one case of aggravated domestic battery were dropped, and he received two years probation. Leviathan is frequently regarded as one of the most influential black metal projects in the US black metal scene, particularly for the 2003 album, The Tenth Sublevel of Suicide, which is often regarded as one of the best albums in the depressive black metal genre. Since then, Leviathan's sound has undergone significant evolution, broadening its influences to incorporate elements of death metal, avant-garde metal, and other genres. Number 6, Thy Light Thy Light is a Brazilian depressive black metal project founded in 2005 in the city of Limeira by the musician Paulo Bruno, who also plays in Destaminus, formerly in Dream State. The lyrics are written by Alex Witchfinder, from the band, Abscfides. The band logo is symmetrical, stylish, the letter L is depicted as a stand with three funeral candles, the outermost letters T are conceived as branches from which nooses hang. In 2007 the first demo recording Suicide.Presion was released, the first studio album titled No Morrow Shall Dawn was released in 2013. Number 5 Nocturnal Depression <laughs> Nocturnal Depression is a French black metal and black doom band, created in 2004 by Hare Suizid, bass, guitar, drums, and Lord Lockreed, vocals. The band is characterized by combining elements of black metal with elements of noise, ambient and doom metal music. In 2004 band published two demos, Suicidal Thoughts and Near to the Stars. The following year they again releases two demos, Soundtrack for a Suicide and Fuck Off Parisian Black Metal Scene, 
all on the Whispering Night Productions record label. In 2006, they released their first full-length album Nostalgia, Fragments of a Broken Past. Number 4 Happy Days I don't love you anymore. Since when? Now. Just now. I don't want to lie. I can't tell the truth, so. Happy Days is a black metal project that originally began in Sarasota, USA, as a solo project consisting of guitarist bassist vocalist A, and Morbid who started the group by himself at 14 years old in the year 2004. But music wasn't released until he recorded three demos under the Happy Days name in 2007. Happy Days' lyrical themes include suicide, negativity, depression, extreme emotional pain, betrayal, failed relationships and misanthropy. Happy Days members living in separate states, most music is created and recorded separately by each musician then mixed by A. And Morbid to get the final outcome. A and Morbid currently resides in San Antonio, Texas and, Carmageddon currently resides in Carlsbad, California. Despite them living in different states, they have eventually met each other outside. A and Morbid traveled to California on a few occasions that led to writing and creating music with Carmageddon in the same room. One example of a song the two recorded together is the track Abigail. Number 3 Silencer Silencer was a Swedish depressive black metal band formed in 1995. They released one album Death Pierce Me in 2001 before splitting up. The album had a major impact on the Swedish underground scene at the time. The band has been the subject of much controversy, mainly because of several allegations made against their vocalist Natrum, who was supposedly institutionalized shortly after the album was released. Silencer lyrical themes revolve around death, misanthropy, insanity, and suicide. The group, which consisted of only two official members, was noted for its vocalist, Natrum, who possessed an eerie screeching vocal style and was allegedly insane, it being speculated that he was admitted to a psychiatric ward following the release of their full-length album Death Pierce Me. Number 2 Shining Finlandia! One more song tonight. I will need your help with this one. Shining is a Swedish black metal band formed in 1996 by Niklas Kvarfurth in Homstad, Sweden. The band's music contains depressive undertones, which include personal and suicide themed lyrics. Shining openly promotes suicide and self-harm in all its forms, e.g. drugs, in their lyrics. The founder of the band, Nicholas Kvarfurth has claimed, with contentment, there have been some cases of people committing suicide at least partially under the influence of Shining's music. The band's name does not refer to the book The Shining or the film based on it, but rather it means the path to enlightenment, according to Kvarfurth. Varforth is the main composer and vocalist of the band and started the band when he was 12. By the time Kvarforth was 14, Shining had released their first EP Submit to Self-Destruction, 1998, on which he played guitars and bass. It was not until the band released their first album, Within Deep Dark Chambers, 2000, that Kvarforth became the band's vocalist. In July 2006 there's is a rumor was spread that he disappear and he was presumed to have committed suicide. On August 23, 2006 the band posted a statement on their website declaring Kvarforth had disappeared. The band was set to continue with a new singer named Ghoul, as one of the wishes from Kvarforth. At a concert that took place on February 3, 2007, at Diesel in Homstad, Sweden, Ghoul was revealed to be Kvarforth. The concert was violent in nature, with Kvarforth occasionally fighting the audience and the guest vocalists, Adelixiher, Maniac, and Nat Efrost. Number 1 Zazthur <laughs> 
Zaz Thur is an American one-man band founded in Alhambra, California by Scott Malefic in 1995. Musically and lyrically, Zaz Thur's focus is on astral projection, darkness, despair, suicide, hate, and death. The first album Nocturnal Poisoning, recorded April-September 2001, was jointly released by independent record labels Blood Fire Death and Red Stream in 2002. Zaz Thur has contributed to tribute albums to Ild Jarn, Burzum and Judas Iscariot, and appeared on various compilation albums. Additionally, Malefic has collaborated among others with the drone metal project Sun-O, and the black metal supergroup Twilight. Malefic decided to end Zaz Thur in 2010 and formed an acoustic dark folk project called Nocturnal Poisoning. At the time, Malefic stated that it was a different band. In 2015, he changed the name of that band to Zaz Thur and stated I've returned to the name again. So this is my list of DSBM band, what do you think about these band? And what is your favorite DSBM band, let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching till the end. Long live black metal.